Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. I uh, adjusted my screen resolution so it might look a little different than the earlier video, but um, I'm currently in the same place that I left off. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it going here. The glove controls the power source which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Okay. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Being patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except that this was far more. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay then. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. Well, getting some major lag here. All right, there we go. As I mentioned earlier, the game might be a little buggy. I don't know if I mentioned this actually, but I'm pretty sure I mentioned that the game might be a little buggy since it is an early, early stage, and um, so lag may be experienced. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. God, I'm a genius. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. But, uh, let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Um... Oh. That what this is. Ugh. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Uh, so pushing E is that now? Ooh. All right, sweet. So I've just discovered my new or my first dimension control, which is E. Kind of weird, <coughs> but and eh, whatever. So. Does that do it? It does. Alright. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Oh, hold on a sec. Lag spike. Just give it a couple seconds to blow over and we shall continue. Come on. Alright, there we go. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Hucking stuff. Alright. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'll need to 
attune that later. Okay, so let's grab you. Put you here. Um. This is actually pretty awesome so far. I'm not very far, but screwing around with the dimensions makes me feel like I'm important. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. What the fuck? Does Dolly. Wait, so does the Dolly just sort of throw shit at me? Or clone shit or something? That's what's up. Um. Um. What's this do? Oh shit, whoops. All right, so don't put things in the lasers. That was sort of an accident. Ugh. Oh, I might have to pile them on top of each other. Um, let's see if that'll work. Hopefully in port, it's not like portal where that'll disappear. Wait, did it disappear? Oh, it did. Okay. Alright, well then we're gonna have to use other things. Such as this table. 